In the ordinances, the power of God is manifest. Those powerful ordinances are administered in the temple. The purpose of the church is to bring the blessings of God to his children on both sides of the veil. So only in our temples do we receive the highest blessings that God has in store for his faithful children. So how difficult was it to make the decision to close the temples? That was painful. It was racked with worry. I found myself asking, what would I say to the prophet Joseph Smith? What would I say to Brigham Young, Wilfred Woodruff, and the other presidents on up to President Thomas S. Monson? I'm going to meet him soon. To close the temples would deny all for which all those brethren gave everything. But we really had no other alternative. In January and February, Every time I went to the temple, I felt like I wanted to do multiple sessions. That's really unusual. I usually do that twice a year. Early March, I said to my husband, at this point, I have done the number of ordinances that I typically would do in a five-month period, just in two months. Well, little did we know that the temple would then be closed for three months. So that's all about how the Lord will actually prepare us. Fortunately, those closures are only temporary. Temples will be opened again, cautiously and carefully, in stages. Even though temples have been closed, family history research and work has taken a huge leap forward. More names are being added. And remarkably, through all of this, the voluntary fast offerings of our members have increased. I've learned that even through clouds of sorrow, there can be silver linings found.